Um, hello, dear colleagues. Hello, dear jury. Um, <clears throat> my name is Paulina. Uh, my name is Elena. <clears throat> I'm Svetlana. And I'm Dima. Uh, so we also worked on a Plasensky Press Droy Challenge. And the purpose of our work was to uh, reduce the amount of uh, the waste or find some eco-friendly way to, re to recycle it. Uh, so at first we had several ideas what to do with the waste, um, but after some brainstorming and research, uh, after we visited a brewery in Valka Popovice, we uh, decided to reduce them to uh, these main ideas, which you can see on this slide. Uh, compost and beer costas. Okay. <clears throat> uh, our first main idea is to use paper uh, from labels as uh, ingredients uh, of compost. Uh, we made some research about uh, using um, <clears throat> paper in composting and about composting in general and uh, there are several benefits of using paper in composting. Uh, the first uh, paper in compost uh, <clears throat> is a rich source of uh, nutrients and uh, nut nutrition sorry and uh, carbons for plants and uh, this can uh, improve soil quality and increase its fertility and uh, using paper as a source of carbon in compost is cheaper uh, than buying other materials such as uh, sawdust or straw. Therefore, uh, farmers will be interested in paper supplies. Uh, also, it's eco-friendly and uh, recycling paper into compost uh, helps reduce environmental pollutions. And the company, the last point and the main, I think, uh, the company will spend less money on waste recycling. Uh, so most farmers already have modern composting production equipment. Uh, they just need to add uh, this waste to make composting process faster and to improve quality of the compost. We still uh, had some questions uh, on which we needed to do more research. Uh, we needed to find how we can reduce high pH level on paper so it uh, won't uh, damage the soil. Uh, we needed to know uh, the material of labels uh, for the same reason, and uh, lastly, we needed to know if it's even possible for farmers to use paper in compost. So to answer to first questions, we asked factory some additional questions. We asked about the pH level, and uh, we received that the pH level at first is too high, uh, it's about 12, but the neutral is 7, so we need to lower it. Fortunately, it's easy to do because uh, we just need to add some acidic solutions or alkaline substances. It's already used like widely in the paper production and it's easy to apply. Uh, for the second, we need to know the materials of labels uh, because we don't want to damage the soil and farmers <coughs> also... <laughs> need to know um, what they put in their soil. <laughs> so uh, we got the answer that they only use white paper and probably metallic ink is also non-harmful for the soil. So it's like non-harmful and farmers can use it. Uh, and lastly, we reached out to farmers, like 41 of them, and they actually answered us about our questions. <laughs> uh, so we asked them, are they able to make their own comp compost? And um, 
some of them answered that they all already have like composed beans on their farm. Um, usually they use vermicomposters that use like worms to make compost and it, they're able to use paper in such composed beans. So it's easy for them because they don't need some additional company to make compost out of this and bring them. So yeah. So, um, making paper via coasters from recycled paper. From recycled paper. <laughs> um, it's a good way to create functional and sustainable product. Uh, the process involves uh, collecting and sorting paper, <laughs> um, such as newspapers, paper bags, or cardboards. Um, which is then shredded into small pieces. Uh, these small pieces are then mixed with water to form a pump, a pool, sorry, which is pressed and dried to create sturdy absorbent paper sheets. These sheets are then um, cut into circle form and it can be uh, like printed with designs or logos in um, environmentally friendly inks. As the final product is durable, functional, and aesthetically pleasing uh, beer coaster, as it reduces waste, promotes sustainability, and supports circular economy. Uh, so we need uh, to do a research on these two other topics. If uh, there are any companies uh, that can make such a beer co uh, coasters, and if it's even possible to do a beer coaster from this material. On this slide, you can see five companies. Uh, these are closest to Czech Republic and uh, they can produce uh, beer coasters from the recycled paper. Uh, the second one is the closest one. So, uh, for the conclusion, we did some math. So, we asked factory how much they produce per year, and it's 230 uh, tons of paper. We divided it. Uh, so we have six, uh, 600 kilograms per day to produce uh, compost for one hectare of the land. You need to, uh, t 10 to tw uh, 20 tons of uh, compost, and for um, and the average farmers have like 25 hectares. So uh, for 10 to, uh, tons of compost, you need 20 kilogram of paper, and so it's 500 kilograms of paper per farmer. Um, with modern te technology, you can make comp new compost every two months. So uh, every two months, you will transfer the waste from the company to the farmers, and they will make new compost. So uh, it will be three tons per year, for farmer, for only one farmer. And like, if you make contracts with a lot of them, because uh, the place, like Velka Popovica has a lot of fields and a lot of companies, we, for example, like we found 41. Uh, for only 10 farmers, you will waste uh, 30 tons of paper. So it will reduce your waste by 13%. And if you make contracts with like 40 of them, like all, you will reduce your waste to half. So, um, it takes it takes a, uh, approximately two or three kilograms of recycled paper to produce a medium-sized beer virus. Uh, the revenue from selling uh, 1,000 beer coasters, it's about 93 euros per month or uh, 996 euros per year. It's according to rates uh, one and 20 dollar. Uh, however, the actual revenue can um, depends on very much factors such as 
uh, market conditions, product quality, or production costs. And also, mm, I have something. <laughs> it's small, but it's functional. <laughs> it's um, made from the paper, from fabric, which we mined. And um, it's a proof that uh, these costs are like easy to make home, and also it will be use. Uh, it, it will it will be easy to make on fabric on summer from this paper. So that's all. Thank you for listening and your attention. Thank you very much. I again invite. First of all, the people from Polsinski Prazdroy for comments, but also, of course, everybody else. Yes, please. Um, personally, I have no uh, questions, sir. <laughs> no, don't waste your time <laughs> in this topic. Uh, thank you. <laughs> so, Martina or Tomas, you have a question? No, thank you. Always clear. Okay, there was a question from the audience. Uh, we asked the company about the glue, and it's uh, organic glue, so it's not harm uh, harmful. Yes, please. Uh, so you are going to send the uh, paper to a farmer? Yes. And how are they going to make it into fertilizer? Um, they have compost bins, so you take the paper from the trucks, from the uh, company, you put it in the uh, compost bin, and the worms work they, their work and make compost out of this. It's like a wild technology. What? Yeah, wild technology. <laughs> Yeah, like not the whole fertilizer out of it. Uh, paper usually uh, used as a part of fertilizers. So like to speed up the process because like worms love it and so on. Like, yeah, why not? Okay, yeah. this generates a lot of questions over there. Uh, my question was, uh, do you have enough farmers around to... Possibly? Yes, yes. All the 41 farmer was around Velke Popovica, so it's kind of close. Uh, I think they will comp uh, they will take as much as they need, so we don't force it. <laughs> but like, yeah, I think they will they will have it. <laughs> Sorry, a follow-up question. Yeah. I understand why they would buy paper instead of just buying the fertilizer? Uh, because they already uh, using co making compost on it on the farm. Yeah, so they just. Yeah, it's, it's cheaper, it's more ecological, and it's easier for them. I don't know. If, the, if they are already using like the compost and making it, they can just add paper. So. Now the farmer is buying the materials for the composting, and uh, it's really expensive. Uh, but our uh, cheap paper will be better. <laughs> Yeah. Final, final question. Yes. More question. You said you turn it into a beer poster. Right? Yes. Isn't that also a waste? What are you going to do with the market as well? With beer coasters? No, yeah, sir. That's also a waste, right? So we are like turning a waste into another waste. Like I don't see how this. Like, but I like beer coasters at the bar. You, you, you need them to like bar buys beer coasters, and use them in the bars. It's not a waste. It's Roy is using. It's <laughs> yes. Yeah. Reuse. I mean, reuse what you waste. <laughs> you are going to throw yeah. out that coaster again, right? When it gets bad, when you use it for some time. But you can, you can't reuse something forever. There will be ways, but like it, we can make it less. 
and we can make profit out of it also. Every recycling process works like, like this. <laughs> yeah, we can recycle everything forever. It's yeah. just how it works. Okay, we have one more presentation before we have the break, and, and then we can compare notes about uh, beer coasters. So, thank you very much for your presentation. Thank you, thank you for your attention.